My son Frank was diagnosed um, at the age of 18, although he did have his first seizure at 14. His challenges was really accepting his condition and realizing that he would have to depend on other individuals to, um, you know, for his rights to work and, and other things. Being diagnosed with epilepsy at the age of 18 brought a lot of limitations to a little bit more simple things in life as far as food, sleeping, uh, driving, work even. As far as my education, it was definitely something that I had to go ahead and continuously cut short because spending more time in the doctor's office as opposed to class. As a mother, um, I just felt very distressed that they had not come up with any, any medication that would help calm his seizures. I actually heard a commercial about this uh, technique that they were doing, the surgery, and uh, once I heard the uh, commercial, um, it really gave me uh, hope, and that's where I was introduced to Dr. Pujoa. So I'm very proud about our Comprehensive Epilepsy Center. I think that we're really passionate about treating patients with epilepsy and really giving them the best care possible. Our focus is epilepsy, and I think that that really adds a certain degree of expertise. The first thing I think about is that so many patients don't really know what their diagnosis is. What they're often told is that they have a seizure disorder, which I think in some ways is akin to telling someone with a heart attack that they have chest pain. I mean, there are lots of reasons why people can have chest pain, and I think it's important for people to know why. Similarly, there are lots of reasons why people can have seizures, and I think it's important to, for people to understand the cause of their seizures, and that's really their specific epilepsy diagnosis. I think when we're able to do that, we're able to offer them more specific treatments, things like surgery, which most often people have never heard of, um, and are very highly effective treatments. By the time we see these patients, they've been on seven, eight, nine medications, uh, when uh, the research pretty clearly indicates that after that third medicine, um, they have a less than 1% chance of being seizure-free. I think there's several barriers that patients with epilepsy face when they're trying to get the best care. Uh, the first barrier is getting the correct diagnosis. So a lot of times people will have strange things that happen to them and they're not entirely sure what's going on with them. I think oftentimes when people think of epilepsy, think, they think of seizures. Uh, when actually there's a, a number of comorbidities that are seen with epilepsy, things like depression, anxiety. These are things that are often misdiagnosed or not diagnosed with people. Living with epilepsy, living with having seizures is, affects your life. The lack of the ability to drive, sometimes the lack of being able to hold a, a job. I felt a lot more comforted because of a lot of the more progressive information that came from Dr. Ujoa. If I could tell patients with epilepsy one thing, it would be that it's not okay for them to continue to have seizures. It's such a simple premise, but I think a lot of people really don't know that, don't understand that. There's always new treatments coming out, there's new medications coming out, and so if you have epilepsy and you're continuing to have seizures, you need to ask your doctor, is there something more I can do? Because this is not okay. It's not okay to live with seizures. So with that knowledge, then they will want to seek more information. And I feel like that's my primary job is to give patients as much information about their condition as I can. Schedule your appointment with our comprehensive epilepsy team today by calling 913-588-1227.